<sighs> well, hi. How are you? Good to see you again. It's always a pleasure. It is a very nice day. It's, it's, it's got a nice breeze. Mm. Anyway, um, nothing really. Went to the dump. Took the trash. Got some mail. Emptied the cat. You know, dirty cat litter. You know, I may be wondering about cats. You know, I mean, because like... Missy wants to run underneath my feet, you know, and like almost trips me up. Well, she doesn't understand. If she trips me up, then ain't nobody going to feed her. And I'm going to be found like fucking 20 days later or something, you know, after I start to stink. And I, they need to stay up underneath my feet. That's the thought for the day. <sighs> Yesterday they were a real pain in the ass. Because I gotta blow my nose. You guys caught me at a lax moment. I was looking for a fucking tissue. Anyway, they they were a pain in the ass yesterday, man. I don't know what the fuck the problem was. Anyway, sin cut. I found this on Amazon, and I don't know why. I don't know what I was looking for. I. I, uh, it was a bundle thing because I, I had to get, you know, this and that and other things. So I added this to it. This was only thirty nine seventy five. And if you don't like dealing with Amazon, I'll also put a link down below in the description to uh, BHQ. And they, you can buy it from them for about the same fucking price. <sighs> Deep breath. This is the Sencut Actium. It's a drop point. I thought it was orange by looking at the photo. See? There goes my notes. Watch me fall over. Ugh. It's a long way to the ground when you want to rock and roll. I think that's just a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. What do you think? I don't know, what does he think? What does he think? I don't know. What do you all think? Yeah, I don't keep my notes from flying all over the fucking place. Uh, and I bought some things uh, to compare it to. Well, come to find out, Sincut is like with Wii, and Wii is like with Civivi, and uh, Wii is not, or Civivi is like, you know, up there, and then you, they branch out to Wii and uh, Sencut and I was like, wow, cool beans. So let's do enough cool bean bullshit talk. Let's move my notes over here where I can see them and you can't. Not that it really fucking matters, but I wanted you to know that in case you think I remember all this shit. I don't remember nothing. Yes, ignorance is bliss. That's what. Cypher. I think it was Cypher. Cypher said in uh, uh, The Matrix, ignorance is bliss. Agent Smith, I do not want to remember anything. Nothing. Nothing. And by the way, this is what Joe Biden looks like when you have on the glasses. Alrighty then, let's do this. Yay or nay? Of course, it's going to be a yay because I fucking picked it. And after all this time and after buying all these knives, if I can't pick one that I, that, yeah, mm-hmm. And I'm pretty much, yeah, mm-hmm. Anyway. No, those are what I want to compare it to. So let's take a look at this thing. This is the Sin Cut. Nice box. I like the blue. It's like, it's like ocean, like, you know, blue. Yeah. Warning, this knife is very sharp. I agree with that. Please use care and keep out of reach of children. Well, darn. Hey, boys, play with this knife. <laughs> I'll be back. Here's some Band-Aids. Welcome to Contact Us. Welcome to contact us for any service and warranty. Welcome to.
Well, it could be, you're welcome to. I don't know. Those Chinese. Shame on them. But there's a factory. There's links to the factory and and all sorts of nifty stuff. They do pretty good. You know, it used to be that a, uh, you know, you buy a $5 knife at a gas station, you get a $5 fucking knife and it doesn't last very long. Now, I mean, this thing was like thirty nine ninety seven seventy five, and now you buy a $40 knife and, you know, they're coming out, they're behaving like a $100 knife. You know, it's, it's, it's cool. I like it. The budget knife market, yeah, you can still buy some crap, but the budget knife department is uh, is doing pretty good. You got a rag, I don't care about a rag, but you got a rag. Send cut, user warranty and information, gabashun and guarantee, whatever the hell that means. It's some sort of foreign language. And you got all sorts of weird stuff like Facebook and, you know, they got, yeah. So we'll just put that off to the side and we'll put, you know, at first, like I said, this looked orange. It did look orange. But it's not. This is a burgundy and it says it's burgundy. But I mean, if you were like, and they come in all sorts of different colors, pretty cool colors. And I'll show those at the end in a, fl in a slide of, you know, uh, this image and that image and things I may have missed. That's very nice. That's a very nice looking blade there. Uh, your clip can go on either side. It is just one way and that is tip up. Get over it. The clip is nice. The black accents is very nice. These liners that's on here and the, the, the centering is well, yeah, it's nice. Well done. From what I understand, the difference between a Civivi and a Wii or a, um, a Sencut is the fit and finish. I fail to see much, much error here with this fit and finish. It's got a little bit of grippy on the G10. Just a little bit. It's like... It's like little dimples, but it's nothing really, really rough. Very nice. And from what I've seen, I don't see any, any like really skimping on anything. You got a lock bar up here. Akba, I'm Akba. You got a skeletonized, skeletonized, yeah, that too. Liner. But it has little little squares cut into it to keep the weight down, which is like 3.8 ounces. <sighs> Your blade. Watch this. And I don't think it's assisted. That comes out sharp, man. This is a hollow, hollow grind? Yes, it is. It is a hollow grind. Very nice. Very silky, very sweet. I like it. It's not black. Sync cut right here is not blaring, is not blasting you out. Hey, I'm a sync cut. Ha ha ha. Nothing on the other side. No. So if you want to break out to the other side, there's nothing there. But there's always something. You know, you can never have nothing. Nothing is the absence of something. And if you have something, then there is no nothing. Nothing does not exist. There is always something. I just thought I'd share that with you because secretly I knew you wanted to know. Jimping right here. Jimping right there. Yes, jimping. Hey, look, I cleaned my hat. Can you tell? Yeah, jimping. Jimping right there. Dual thumb stud. Hey, left hand, right hand. Pretty neat. And it has a flipper. Nice flipper. You don't, and some flippers you have to like eh, manipulate and pull and twist and, and like, yeah. This has a finger choil. A finger choil you can actually use. I still would not like 
get too close to it because it will bite you. Oh, any knife will bite you. I like this black accent. You got nice little racing stripes right here. You remember they used to put those on shoes? They're right up here. You remember they used to put those on shoes? You had these little stripes and did it make me run faster? No, no, not at all. Not even when the, <laughs> not even when the Chicanos were chasing me home from school. They caught me a few times. That's how I learned. Run fast or fight. <laughs> Sometimes it's both. Anyway, liner lock. Is it a liner lock? Yes, it's a liner lock. This has ceramic ball bearings. This is like really smooth. This liner lock also serves on the frame, of course. That feels really good, people. For $39.95, nice little fidget blade. I mean, I like the sound that it makes. Listen to that down. Yeah. I like the shape. I like the jimping where it's supposed to be. This jimping right here and this jimping up here. And it has almost like, they say it's a drop point, but it's a harpoon shape to me. Very, very sharp. I think what moved me towards it is you see this tip here, how it's flattened. Like, you know, and that, that's different because a lot of tips, they're not flattened. They're like rounded or pointed or, you know, so on. This one has some nice ergonomics. Very nice. Very nice. Blade is 3.5 inches. It's 7.9 inches overall. Mostly the sand cup people, they sell budget knives at uh, Amazon via Amazon, but, you know, they've been branching out. Hmm. Pretty. Let's check on the sharpness since I'm done with my notes. Need I say more? What are you here? Excellent job on the sharpening people. Excellent job. I don't know how they do it. I know they're using a lot of CNC machine, but this is just this is just pretty. Look at how that dances in the light. If I can get it in frame, yeah, it's just textured and contoured and very nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. You got a little jimping on your thumb stud, you can clutch it, catch it. And you don't have, like I said, you don't have to like, uh, to get the damn thing open. That's a flipper that, you know, I can get behind or get in front of. Hmm. I mean, that is, that is nice. Very nice grip. You're using that choy, using your thumb, you want to get in for some close end work. Uh, Let's take a look at these. Okay, there's the sin cut. Here's the Ontario Rat 2. I think you can get a general idea on how big they are. Here's a, a, a Gonzo. I don't know if some of you have, you know, maybe familiar with Gonzo. They've been, they do good stuff. These are sort of similar. Here, friend of a lot of you guys is, is the uh, Rosecraft. Rosecraft yeah now this Rosecraft it has a flipper but you see it you still have to like get a little you know oof behind it whereas this one it just you don't have to do as much oof it's not the nice fault. Sweet. There they are together. Here it is against the Gonzo. See how I mean about the rounded? And the Ontario Rat.
different blade styles. So what's the verdict? Yes or no? I'd have to give it a yes. Because it's just like, it's a yes. It's a yes knife. I like the burgundy. I'm going to find a, uh, a clip for it. Not a clip, a uh, lanyard. So that's my view on it. Here you got a pile of budget knives, actually. Well, I think the Hokum is a little bit more. I'm not sure. I, 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 I digress. I forget. I forget a lot. Can you tell? So, hey, go for it. That it, It's a sweet knife. I, I really like the way they did this. Really do. Nice little fidget factor. Comes open smartly. Comes open like it's assisted, but it's not. It's got to be those ceramic ball bearings. I like it. It's just like, mm, yeah. They say it's tough. It's a D2 blade. I maybe, And I think they're all D2s. R2-D2s. All right, boys and girls. Got to go. I'm very fucking busy. It's always a pleasure. And we'll see you.